Julie Maximovich is in the middle of Goran Markovich's latest scam. He owes her money. And as you'll hear, every day he has another excuse for why he hasn't paid it back. While she knows who she's dealing with now, it was a very different Julie six months ago. Everyone deserves a second chance in life. Let's help him. Was he offering you a sob story? I mean, what was it that... Oh, yeah. ...convinced you he needed a second S chance? Sob story. There is nothing in the world like this person. He is so convincing. So convincing. Markovich persuaded Julie to lend him $20,000. She admits she was too trusting of a man she'd only ever spoken to on the phone and who was in jail for fraud at the time. A fellow inmate, who was a relative of Julie's, had got them talking. I found a best friend. The way he spoke, how gentle he was, how understanding he was, how supportive he was. Markovic claimed he was temporarily short of cash, but would pay back Julie double the amount she lent him an irresistible deal of $40,000 in return. And I began to share these sort of stories with my daughter, Susanna. So there is, here's a serious scammer posted as ASIO agent. And she immediately said to me, Mum, something's wrong. Mum, get away from this man. Confirming their suspicions were online warnings about Markovic from Kelly Bolter, who had lost her life savings to the con man. It seemed that you now had a mindset where Goran Markovic was your target. I realise it is quite a bizarre, unbelievable story now. And so I was trying to gather as much information to prove it. Kelly now had an ally in Julie, who was tired of Markovic's tall tales. Uh, you'll get the money today, you'll get the money tomorrow, you'll get it the day after, and it kept going and going in different stories, different lies. Hi, Julie. Hi, how are you? And while filming with Julie, we get to hear some of those lies. Right. Oh, my! The first lie is extraordinary. Markovic tries to play on Julie's sympathy and claims his mother is in a coma. She's still not responsive, but it, uh, she twitched a couple of times, I mean, which could be a... I think it could be a good... Um, oh, for uh, sure, for sure, Gorana. If she twitched yeah. or any little movement, that's, that's yeah, a yeah, big right. sign. But this is Goran's mother, frail but clearly not in a coma, as she delivers plastics to the recycling bin. Which hospital is she in? Because I'd like to send some flowers. Ah, oh, some flowers. Don't have flowers. I just want it to get better. I know, but um, what are doctors saying, please? Oh, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing they can say. And then this. Hi. Markovic says he's expecting a call from the National Australia Bank, which will explain where Julie's missing money is. Uh, she was going to ring me back in the next five or ten minutes, so we'll just keep talking. And lo and behold, Markovic gets a call within four minutes, though no one can be heard on the other line. Hang on, Jules. OK. It's a good act. Markovic feigns anger, even though Liz from the bank is obviously a figment of his imagination. OK, Liz, can you sort this out or not? Simple question. Can you sort it out and let me know it's sorted out? OK, well, put a trace in it now. And do you ever expect to see your money again? Never. Why have you not gone to the police? Shame, fear, embarrassment. 
But together, Julie and Kelly are working to finally bring down this career fraudster. I just want the opportunity to face him one last time and to reinforce that I'm a strong person and that he didn't beat me. As part of the plan, Julie has managed to convince Markovic to visit her today. Three hidden cameras placed around the apartment will capture their every move. In the room next door, Kelly will watch and wait. My God, I feel like I'm dreaming. I feel like this is a nightmare. But this is part of what you wanted, right? You wanted to confront him. I did, I did. And this is something I have to do. Running late, Markovic doesn't bother to call Julie, but leaves his home and appears to be heading towards her location. OK, we've heard now that he's very close. How does that make you feel? Um, I'm very anxious about it. Yeah, a bit, bit scared. How do you think he's going to react to you? Oh, he'd be very shocked. He's getting out of the car now. He's walking to the back of the car. I'm filming him. He's coming. Markovic has arrived and is now only moments he's away. He's coming. He's coming. This one. Kelly has been waiting for this day for more than three years. You're right. It's okay. She's nervous. Despite her rising anxiety, Julie keeps her wits as she welcomes Goran in. Here we go, seeing him. They talk on the balcony. He tells Julie his mother now needs a $60,000 hip replacement. As for the money he owes Julie, he claims regrettably and without further explanation that it has been stopped by Oztrack, a government agency that investigates money laundering and terrorism. Are you ready mm -hmm. to go in? Mm -hmm. You sure about mm -hmm. this? Yep. You can yep. still say no. No, I'm going. Hello, Goran Markovic. Hi. Clara Hello. Brown from 60 Minutes. Hi. And you know Kelly, obviously. I do. You do. You're a liar, Goran, and I've exposed you for the liar that you are and the criminal that you are, and we want our money back. You, you yourself, you yourself lied that I held you hostage. You I'm not that lying I about you anything. Have. You lied that People I People know you. you for the fraudster and the liar that Is you that are. Right? And where's our money? You we lied. want our money back. You lied. And I want an apology, and I want you back in jail. That's where you belong. Is that right? Yes, it is. You lied. Goran, let's yes. talk about who lies here. Okay. Should I call you Goran, or no, should I call you, you Bruce call Willis? No, you shouldn't call me at all. I shouldn't call you at all. You shouldn't call what, me at all. Should I call you Adrian, or Demetrius, or Whatever Scott, you want to. or Whatever Guy, you want to or Todd, me. or Stephanie? Who are you today? Are you guys finished? No, we're not finished. Okay, I think well, you would like to know where the money is, Goran, and when you're giving it back. For a con, Markovic forgot one of the first rules of engagement. On arrival, he didn't take note of his closest exit. Is that right? No, How can you stand here and accuse these people of lying when you're a fraudster? You're a right? thief. You're a straight out thief. Is that what you think? Is that oh, no, it's not what I think, it's what the law thinks. It's what all those poor people you've ripped off think. Is that right? Is it? Yes. And I just want to know, Goran, what are you going to do now? You're going to run again? You're going to get run, run back to Serbia where you're wanted? No, actually, I'm not. I'm not suggest you better check your records as well. I've got my records right here. Have you really? Yeah. And so, as the records show, Markovic is wanted in Serbia for embezzlement. And of all those fake identities, the only one he argues against is Bruce Willis. Where did you get the idea that you looked anything like Bruce Willis? Actually, you got the information wrong because it wasn't Bruce Willis. It wasn't Stephen Bruce. Ellis, not that Willis. Right? Okay. So you've admitted to pretending you're someone you're not, but not Bruce Willis. Is that what you're saying? No. The further we walk, the more he denies, and the larger the lies. Why did you claim to be from ASIO? Why did you claim to work for Interpol? Why did you claim to do that if you weren't trying to rip people off? Listen to me, you have no idea. Simple questions. Why would you And I'm do that? telling you, you have no idea who Kelly is. Markovic finally sees an escape route. Oh, you've got a car here, Goran. Why don't you get into your car? As Goran you. speeds away, back in the apartment, Kelly and Julie are mostly relieved. Um, it wasn't as scary as I thought, and um, he didn't intimidate me like he did before. 
Hello. But even now, Markovic wants the last word. Within minutes, he calls Julie to taunt her. If only she had waited, she would have got her money. So he's not denying my money. He said, you should have waited till Tuesday or Wednesday, you would, have, you would have had your money. Oh, Tuesday or Wednesday yes. now? This has been going on for six months. Needless to say, Julie has given up ever seeing her money again. Kelly continues to work on warning others, unlucky enough to ever encounter Goran Markovic. As does the good detective, Bob Brisby, who is all too aware of the pain behind the farce. That's the biggest tragedy of it all. Yeah, they're real people, families, and just trying to make their way. You're just being defrauded at the basis level of trust. It's, it's very sad. It's the old saying that if there is doubt, there is no doubt. Uh, if you're thinking, should I be giving this person or mortgaging my house for this person, don't do it. Plain and simple. <laughs>